Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. Yesterday we had a big version update into the game with new features and new things have got added to the game. In today's video, I'm gonna have an overview over this patch note as well as letting you know every single thing new have got added. So let's just start going to the message. I have already checked it, so I put it into the favorites. You usually find the, the mail for the version update in the system, but I made it easier to be finding it here. So we're starting with the new features. We have in two new buildings, which is the alloy lab where you can spend alloys for tech research and unlock tier 11 units. So there is no more tier 10. We're going to have tier 11. I'm expecting it's going to be costing a bunch to be able to get it. Or the next thing going to be skins for the Alliance HQs and Allies Towers. Or the next one going to be a new Beast Awakening Core Fusion feature. You can obtain Beast Awakening Cores by fusing the Beast Awakening Core Shards. And I assume that this one we can be getting it from events. There is a new difficulty level in the Ace Trial which is a nightmare and this level will not be reset after being cleared once we clear the nightmare it's done it's not the same like the others like the bronze and silver the gold it's once and for all and then we have in this surfer gonna have a war gear for the surfer is going to be including a bunch of things and a bunch of stats for it then we have in the value monthly boss now includes a privilege for in increased gen clue drops and then as well we have in the new grand prize announcement in the dooms vault so this is the the new thing have got added but we haven't or we're not done yet we will check the surface as well as what things we got so we got a war gear this one i assume i have been having some boxes they sent gifts to be including this one and we have just opened them and that's all boom just a second and we have increased 500 power and at the same time this one here it's an in increase percentage not just a flat number it's increasing percentage the first one here gonna be the surface seeker helmet it increased the fighter attack by 4.84 percent and the fighter defense by the same percentage and then we have in the next one gonna be the wings for it increasing the rider attack and the defense and then we have in the green or the rare, it's increasing the ranged attack and the defense. And then we have in the surface neck guard, fighter, rider, and the ranged. So it's not just focus or on or increasing just the stats or the power of the surface. It also helps by increasing the stats for the troops. You can see here the stats overview. This is all the stats that the troops going to get. Well, honestly, I'm not sure if it's just the troops. It might be for the, uh, the, the beasts as well. I'm not really sure about this one. The surface mesh has a total of six equipment slot with each slot designed for, uh, designated for a specific mech companion. By consuming three identical components of the same quality, you can synthesize one component of a higher quality okay so we can have it fused to a higher range okay let's try out this one here use all okay we need to have it the same rarity to be able to make it to the next one i'm gonna fuse everything i got to see how it works but here okay i need just one more gray and here is the same. So yeah, it's really helping out to be getting a bunch of stats and it's all totally completely for free. I assume I will be able to get these kind of gears from the events. Like, well, I can back here and see. Okay, we don't have the sources here, but yeah, uh, it was uh, sent in the boxes. So most likely we will be getting it from events in general. And then it was a tier 11. Am I able to find it here? No, I don't. Well, I'll be trying to be getting the picture for it to be putting it in uh, the community page in the channel. So you can check it out. But yeah, for now, that's all guys for the latest patch note we have got. And the new things. Well, for we have these two buildings here. The alloy refinery and the alloy lab. I can't build them since I'm not in the alloy level. But once I do, I'll be checking them out and talk about it. 
So yeah, that's all guys for this video and every single new thing I've got added to the game. Make sure guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel to not be missing my videos in the future. Till then, take care and enjoy your game.